slow jam while I go pan. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the best way to get match fit as a footballer. So starting off, we need to understand the way that our body is actually energized to be able to train and to play matches and to just perform at a high level. So I've gone over this before in prior videos, but there's three different energy systems in the body. So just to give you a quick rundown, there's the ATP PC system, there's the glycolytic system and the oxidative system. So the ATP PC system is strictly an anaerobic energy system. The glycolytic system is both anaerobic and also aerobic and then the oxidative system is strictly aerobic so the understanding of these three energy systems is going to give you the best possible outcome when it comes to training and overloading each energy system to provide a full comprehensive fitness profile for you as a player so the next question you'd ask is okay so how do we train these three energy systems what activities actually target each one individually so the atp pc system is anaerobic which means without oxygen and so your body doesn't need oxygen to be able to utilize it. So activities like a 50 yard sprint or a high intensity change of direction activity with the ball or sprinting with the ball will, will target the ATP PC system. But the main concept to understand is that the ATP PC system is an anaerobic energy system. And this energy system is primarily utilized when you're working at your maximum intensity for around 10 seconds. Now moving on to the second energy system, which is the glycolytic system. And this energy system is utilized primarily primarily when you're working at moderate intensities over a moderate distance. And so basically 20 seconds to up to three minutes of continuous work. So things like the full field stride outs where you run from one end of the field to the other in 20 seconds, and then you jog 40 seconds back and do about four reps of those and then progress it into six reps and then eight reps. Uh, that is a good example of a activity that the glycolytic system is utilized for. And you can utilize the glycolytic system on the ball by doing a circuit that lasts from 20 seconds all the way up to three minutes. And so the last one, like I mentioned before, is the oxidative system, which is your aerobic system, primarily utilized when you're doing 20 plus minutes of continuous work. A good way to work this one would be doing like 20 minute runs. You could start off at eight minutes per mile pace, do a 20 minute run one week, and then you could do the second week at seven minutes and 30 seconds per mile pace for 20 minutes. And you can continuously make the pace faster on these 20 minute runs that are hitting the oxidative system to overload and progressively increase its capacity. To make things very simple, all it is is we're progressively doing things that train each of these energy systems and slowly make them to where they're progressively increased in capacity and help us to not be fatigued as fast during trainings and matches. And just to make sure that you're aware, playing in 11 v 11 matches and playing small sided for an extended period of time, they hit all three of these energy systems all together. So if you have the ability to train with a team or play 11 v 11 matches with a team or play small sided, then that should be prioritized over these other training techniques. But these training techniques are also acceptable if you are training individually. This study in the Journal of Sports Sciences actually shows that 90% of the energy demands of soccer players at a competitive level are aerobic, which means that the oxidative system and the glycolytic system are being mainly engaged for around 90% roughly of a soccer player when he plays competitively. But the study does also state that anaerobic training is also very necessary and plays a vital role in soccer player performance. So now to answer the question of this video of what is the best way to get fit as a footballer, it is to play 11 v 11 matches and to play small sided if you have access to the those things because they hit all three energy systems, the ATP PC system, the glycolytic system, and the oxidative system. If you don't have access to a team or a group, then what you could do in substitution of that is to train each of these energy systems, all three of them, the ATP PC system, the glycolytic system, and the oxidative system, and progressively make the workouts harder that target each of these energy systems to increase each one's capacity. Definitely check out the caption below for some more examples on ways to train all three energy systems. If you enjoyed this video, definitely drop a like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you all next time. All right, guys, peace. Sliding nigga, shawty wanna slow jam. Careful how I'm coming in like when I used to sneak in past midnight back in high school when all we did was live life. Time done change.